Almost 200 years after it was first promised, a Tasmanian treaty with Aboriginal people may soon be a reality. Today symbolises the start um, of something absolutely amazing. A new report recommends the state work towards a treaty and establish a truth-telling commission with the powers of a commission of inquiry to confront the past and help navigate the future. Our history is invisible in the history of this country and I think this is making that history visible and that's what I mean when I feel like the cloud has been lifted. As Tasmanian Aboriginal people we know that a treaty is needed, we know that we need our land back, we know that we need compensation and protection of our heritage and I can't imagine that anyone would disagree with that. There are 24 recommendations, including creating Aboriginal protected areas of land, providing sea and water rights, taking further steps towards dual naming and reviving language, and an Aboriginal cultural centre at Macquarie Point. Parts of the report are a harrowing read. We thought it was important to include that because it's, it really does help demonstrate the intergenerational effects of dispossession on Aboriginal people. We experience the incredible privilege of people opening up their hearts to us about the ongoing adverse impact of colonisation on their families through generations to today. The Tasmanian government's yet to formally respond to the report and isn't ruling any of its recommendations in or out. But Premier Peter Gutwin is adamant that his government is committed to reconciliation. The report opens a door that we can walk through if we wish. But to do so, we must choose to do that together, as further division, further conflict will not provide a pathway to true reconciliation. Tasmania has a very long history and we should embrace every opportunity to give a voice to the stories, the people, the culture, and to speak truthfully about what happened to Tasmanian Aboriginal people when the colonisation of Tasmania occurred. The report's been tabled. But the work's only just begun. Alexandra Humphreys, ABC News.